Hey guys, welcome to Kenya's Kitchen 88. Today we're going to be making my delicious classic chili recipe. If you haven't, be sure to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button and let me know what you guys think. And my recipe can be found at my website at www.kenyaskitchen88.com. So let's jump in. We're going to get started. I'm going to start out with browning my ground beef. I'm going to season the ground beef with black pepper. Sprinkle some garlic powder and then add some onion powder. Now you can add salt, but because the broth and canned tomatoes have salt, I'm not going to add any more. If you want, you could sprinkle a little bit of salt and then you're going to mix your seasonings into the ground beef. So once the ground beef has browned, I'm going to go ahead and drain it in a colander. I know some people don't like to drain their meat, but when it comes to ground beef, I like to drain the meat. So in a pot over medium high heat, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to add my diced green bell pepper and onion. You're going to mix your veggies into the oil. And then you're going to allow your veggies to cook for about three to five minutes or until they begin to soften a little bit. And then once the veggies are done, we're going to add the ground beef back to the pot. Then I'm going to add some fresh garlic, sprinkle some chili powder, and then add some cumin. Next, you're going to mix all that together, and then we're going to get ready. You can either add beef broth or you can add chicken broth. I'm using chicken broth because that's what I had on hand. You're going to pour that in there, and then we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste. Next, I'm going to mix that in real well, and then I'm going to add the diced tomato. And I'm gonna add some red kidney beans. Make sure you rinse the kidney beans off first. Then you're gonna mix all those ingredients together. Now, I like to add just a little pinch of brown sugar, but it's completely optional. So I'm gonna add the sugar, mix that in, and then I'm gonna allow my liquid to come to a boil. So once the liquid comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid over the pot, but I'm not gonna fully cover it. I'm just gonna leave a little piece open. Now, throughout the cooking time, be sure to check on your chili at least every 30 minutes. Stir it and make sure that it's not sticking or burning at the bottom. So within the last 30 minutes, I like to do a taste test. If you need to make any adjustments, you can. But I like to sprinkle a little bit of the salt-free garlic and herb seasoning. And I like to sprinkle a little bit of the salt-free onion and herb within the last 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to mix those spices into my chili. And then I'm going to place a lid over the pot and allow it to continue to simmer for just a little bit longer. So once your chili is done, do one more stir. And if you need to do a taste test, do a taste test. But when your chili is done, it's going to come out looking delicious like this. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. You can find the recipe at my website at www.kenyaskitchen88.com. And I want to thank you guys for all the support.